Uh, you know, I, I thank you for sharing that, first of all, because I think, that, you know, that's a consideration. Everything you've just described about the right and left hand side brain, which I, I have a, a, you know, a, a knowledge of and some experience of. It's never quite been shared in that way. And I think that is really interesting and, and something for you know the listeners to take away here to say that we know that men are typical people, you know, they're fixers. Yeah. We, you know, we, we've got a problem, we want to fix it. And I think your description absolutely fits with that. There's nothing anyone else can do. It's kind of down to me to to fix it. The reality is we're losing 6,000 plus people to yeah. suicide every year in the UK and 75% of them are men. Of those 6,000 plus people we lose, another 20 per suicide are attempting so clearly we're not dealing with this we're not fixing the problem ourselves so how do we how do we do that i i think it is very much up to to us as a society to create the environment that allows us to talk much more openly about topics that men particularly uh, don't feel comfortable talking with we've got to change the narrative we've yeah. got to allow people to do this this is historic we know this isn't it it's generational that the the you know the man up thing and, and and all these things that i am supposed to be even in this world of equality mm. the person who fixes things and sorts things out if i can't then in some way i'm i'm not a man yeah. and and this yeah. thinking process still goes on if we create amongst men's groups particularly and look there's some fantastic groups from andy's man's club to talk club and all the others are, you know that are growing now prolifically if we can create the right environments where we say it's kind of okay to be vulnerable it's not about being brave by the way that's i think really important language yes. it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay for us to sit in a pub while they still exist and talk about these things as well as the football Yes. and the beer or whatever else we've got to start creating those environments 100 percent safe spaces where men you know and before and covid happened in 2020 there were barber shops there were pubs, etc and that took a massive downturn during covid and i did see men's mental health have a massive uptick 